talk about iPhone versus the new Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. I'm like two-faced, white, dark, but if I do this, it's too light. If I do that, it's too dark. I did not like the phone whatsoever. I only had the phone for about a week and a half. Hopefully this video will be able to save somebody because it didn't save me. I had a lot of problems with it. Thankfully I was still within the 14 days with AT&T and I can switch back to an iPhone. People with iPhones are probably saying, why would you do that? And I was like, I don't know. I just wanted to change it up. Don't get me wrong. I mean, it's waterproof. I was too scared to test out the waterproof feature. The phone already broke before I even put it in water. Even the people were like, did you put this in water? I was like, no. I was too scared to put it in water. The screen is very clear. It focuses on all the pixels in the picture. The colors are much brighter and more vibrant in, on the Galaxy S phone. I love the low light pictures, how it comes out. When you sign into things, like you have like an Amazon account, activate it with your fingerprint. It saves me a lot of time, especially when I was clocking in and out of work. And I'm walking and I don't want to clock back in. I wasn't paying attention to where I'm walking. Don't text and walk! If you want to save some time with your fingerprint, pretty great. And don't text and drive. Other than that, I didn't like the phone. Nope. When I choose the option to unlock it with my finger, it wasn't letting me. In order for it to have this fingerprint unlocking thing. I had to look more into the phone, into all the settings, and finally I had to change like one little detail. And that's kind of annoying because with iPhones you could just say, I want my finger to unlock the phone, and they're like, okay. On the third day, the phone decides to reset itself constantly two times a day and the phone could just be on the table and say hey I'm gonna mess everything up for you and I'm just gonna reset because you have to go in there and make sure everything that you want the phone to be you have to change every little detail you want to change the theme you want to change the font you want to change the color you want to change the laws you want to change the lock no no it's not like an iPhone where it's you know you set you set this and this and this and it's done. That's it, that's it, that's it. Jesus. I miss having an iPhone. When you get a text message, when you get a Facebook message, when you get Twitter following, a Snapchat, whatever, tell you on the lock screen what, what it is. But the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge, Samsung S7 Galaxy Edge, you will know, say that five times Yes. It stopped telling me my notifications, like completely. Completely. You have to figure out why did you ding? Why did you ding? Do I have a text message? Do I have a Facebook comment? What? I didn't know. The bottom, you have a back button that has an like arrow going that way. Square that deletes all your activated apps. The activate app thingy button stopped working completely also. You have apps. Apps. You have apps. App. 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 app, app. You have apps that are constantly running and it drains your battery so it's good to have that that button that deletes all the apps because you don't want your phone constantly running behind your back without you knowing and it drains your battery so I since I normally went into settings because I had to constantly set up my phone again constantly set up my phone again um that button stopped working too. That's it. I can't do this anymore. And now I have, I have the 6S Plus. Look at my background. I got Dumbo on it. So if anybody's watching this and decides to leave iPhone or a Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge, I would say don't do it. Again, this is my personal opinion. I'm sorry, Samsung, if you see this. I'm not bad-mouthing Samsung at all. That's not the, that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying I personally did not like the book. I felt like I needed to make this video because when I was searching about this phone, nobody really talked about problems about this phone. I just wanted to give out my message. Spread the word. I'm spreading the word. Yeah, I mean, if you, if you have the phone and if it's working great and 
That's awesome. That's awesome. After all this, I missed Siri. Oh, Amanda, I miss you too. Anyway, benefits of having a clear case. I just want to say thank you, Apple, for making an excellent product and happy birthday. It's now your 40th birthday, I believe. And Samsung, I'm sorry I did not like your phone. Um, just wish you guys would fix all the glitches and you guys would have a better phone. Say bye. She's not, she's not cooperating with me. I just, I just talked about how excellent you are and now you're not speaking to me?